Yeah, buddy. I got a 308 here. In case you don't know what a 308 cartridge looks like, that's a 308 cartridge, my friends. That makes an AK cartridge or a 556 or a 223 AR cartridge look like small potatoes, my friends. Look at the powder charge in there. Look at the size of that projectile. Okay. And what we have here is a single shot handy rifle which is perfect for my needs, just what I need. And uh, nice, uh, nice scope on it. 4x9 BSA scope. It's already zeroed in. Nice stock. Gun is in beautiful, beautiful condition. And uh, what more can I say? It's a Harrington Richardson H&R handy rifle. Very accurate gun, according to the owner. So I should have no problem placing some shots on that piece of AR-500 test plate. So let's get that set up and see what happens, huh? Okay, guys. I got my ears on. I got the plate set up there on that hay bale. There's the 308 round. There's the handy rifle. Now, this thing is probably zeroed to about 100 yards, so I'm guessing it's going to shoot considerably lower this close so I don't know how accurate my shots are going to be but here's the deal okay we're just going to do this live I have no idea how it's going to work out I really can't tell you I'm going to zoom in on the plate so you can see the action I'm going to try and land around on it I may miss things happen right it's, it's really hard to say so I don't know what to tell you until I get to it. Alright. So here, let me break open the rifle. Insert a cartridge. Wow. That is a beast of a cartridge, my friends. I don't even know what to tell you. <clears throat> Draw back the hammer. And hopefully I'm going to hit the steel when I hit this thing. I really don't know what to tell you. I have a feeling that it's going to shoot a little low because I'm so close. Let's see what happens. Are you ready for it? Okay, I must have hit the plate because it's not there anymore. <laughs> the recoil on that rifle is not as bad as I was expecting. Let's zoom this back. Okay. And there used to be a plate there. <laughs> a long time ago <laughs> oh my gosh did I hit it or did I just hit the dirt I don't even know okay guys nice so are you seeing what I'm seeing okay that's one of the most largest most powerful rounds that you're probably going to come up against short of maybe a Barrett 50 cal right <laughs> And look how little it deformed it. Just the slightest. I'm going to get it up in the sun so you can see that slight bulge. Here, let me get it on macro. This camera is still a mystery to me. I'm not really 100% sure where the lens and stuff is. I'm always, plus the sun is killing me here. Okay. I don't know where the is that the lens there's the lens okay I'm not looking at the right place Do you see the tiny bulge that's a tiny tiny bulge guys get back on regular. so I think that's an awesome test right there now you can see what I'm talking about with splatter that round just like vaporizes and then you can see it goes off in every direction so what would have that have done if there was something around it. Okay, so give me a few minutes and I'm going to set up a little test box and shoot it again. And that way we'll look for splatter ripping through the box on the sides and we'll see just how dangerous splatter might be. Okay guys, I think I found a good box for this because I can completely close up the plate inside this box and we'll be able to see all the different directions that the splatter might be going, right? So here, I'll just set this up here and you can watch me set it up. And we'll do this all as one take so there's no no foolery going on here.
close range for a round this tall, guys. inside the door. Let me grab them. Alright, I got my ears on. Okay. Here's the spent casing from our first shot. Here's another round. You can see that's a whopping cartridge, man. Alright, let's get this thing zoomed in again so we can get some good action okay and I will do my best to uh, smack it down again the same place pretty much we'll find out huh I love this gun this gun shoots really really well wow and hardly any recoil okay pull the hammer back and away we go Yeah, I must have hit something. I hope. Let's find out. Did I totally shoot over it? No, well, I'm seeing a hole dead center in the box. Okay, let me zoom this back. Okay, now we're looking for splatter. Okay? Okay, guys. Do you see what I'm talking about with splatter now? Do you see how deadly that could be? How devastating that could be? Look at the splatter. Imagine that coming up and hitting you underneath your chin or in your neck. Okay, see this? See that? Imagine that. Imagine that hitting you in the arms and cutting open your femoral arteries. Okay, Here, let's look on this side. Look at that. It basically cut the whole box in half. That's what splatter does, guys. Or imagine you're in a team and you get hit and then the splatter takes out the guys next to you okay there's no backsplash you don't see a thing coming out the front of this at all okay here look that's that would have gotten your thighs or if your or your belly or your crotch okay and it's not about the plate surviving cuz i i'm pretty sure the plate's fine okay here's my second shot okay no problem with the plate surviving. The plate will survive multiple hits. Very slight deformation. Uh, and you can see the mark. Look at the mark the plate made on the box. Now that's the mark it's going to make against your skin. It's enough to rip cardboard, guys. So you're going to want padding behind the plate. You're going to want some dense neoprene, maybe one inch thick neoprene behind there to absorb the shock. And you're going to want splatter mitigation. Look at the leading on the inside of the box, guys. Okay, I think that's a really clear example of how dangerous splatter is going to be if you were to wear this plate by itself. Look at the leading. Look at the leading, guys. Look at the little tiny pieces of shrapnel. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what that would have done to you? It would have cut you open like a rip saw. It just cut right through this cardboard box like nothing. So that's the that's the unmitigated splatter test. All right. So we've demonstrated. I've demonstrated with the 308 round just how good this metal is. But we need one more thing, don't we? We need splatter mitigation. You're going to have to give me a little bit of time on that because I've got to get the, the rig set up so that I can get the splatter shield on there and everything. And I'll get another box and we'll box it up and we'll do it again. And we'll get a really clear picture of whether or not uh, the splatter mitigation shield does what it's supposed to.